In this example, we will solve permutations with constraints involving words. How many ways can you order the letters from the word trees if a vowel must be at the beginning? In our sample set, we'll use permutation tiles to represent the five letters in trees. Represent the arrangement by setting up five positions. We have the constraint that a vowel must go in the first position. There are two options since there are two E's. Use one of the vowels and move the remaining tiles to the second position. Any letter can be used, so there are four options. There are three options for the third position. There are two options for the fourth position. And there is one option for the fifth position. Multiply the numbers together to get 48 arrangements. Watch out! In trees, there are two E's. This means that duplicate arrangements will arise if we swap the positions of the E's. Divide the total number of arrangements, 48, by the repetitions, 2 factorial, to get 24 unique arrangements. In Part B, how many unique arrangements start with a consonant and end with a vowel? In our sample set, we'll use permutation tiles to represent the five letters in trees. Represent the arrangement by setting up five positions. We have the constraint that a consonant must go in the first position. There are three options since we have the consonants T, R, and S. We also have the constraint that a vowel must go in the final position. There are two options, E and E. We have resolved the constraints. Any remaining tile can go in the second position, so there are three options. There are two options for the third position. And there is one option for the fourth position. Multiply the numbers together to get 36 arrangements. Watch out! In trees, there are two E's. This means that duplicate arrangements will arise if we swap the positions of the E's. Divide the total number of arrangements, 36, by the repetitions, 2 factorial, to get 18 unique arrangements. In Part C, how many unique arrangements have the R in the middle? In our sample set, we'll use permutation tiles to represent the five letters in trees. Represent the arrangement by setting up five positions. We have the constraint that R must go in the middle. Begin with the permutation tiles at the third position. There is one option for the third position. It must be R. We have resolved the constraint. Any of the four remaining tiles can go in the first position. There are three options for the second position. There are two options for the fourth position. And there is one option for the final position.
Multiply the numbers together to get 24 arrangements. Watch out! In trees, there are two E's. This means that duplicate arrangements will arise if we swap the positions of the E's. Divide the total number of arrangements, 24, by the repetitions, 2 factorial, to get 12 unique arrangements. In Part D, how many unique arrangements begin with exactly one E? In our sample set, we'll use permutation tiles to represent the five letters in trees. Represent the arrangement by setting up five positions. If the arrangement begins with exactly one E, this means that the first letter is E, the second letter is not E, and the remaining positions have no constraints. There are two E's available for the first position. There are three other letters that are not E. We have resolved the constraints, so there are three options for the third position. There are two options for the fourth position. And there is one option for the fifth position. Multiply the numbers together to get 36 arrangements. Watch out! In trees, there are two E's. This means that duplicate arrangements will arise if we swap the positions of the E's. Divide the total number of arrangements, 36, by the repetitions, 2 factorial, to get 18 unique arrangements. In Part E, how many unique arrangements end with TR? In our sample set, we'll use permutation tiles to represent the five letters in trees. Represent the arrangement by setting up five positions. We have the constraint that the fourth position must be T. Therefore, there is only one option for the fourth position. We have the constraint that the fifth position must be R. Therefore, there is only one option for the fifth position. We have resolved the constraints. Any of the three remaining letters can go in the first position. There are two options for the second position. And there is one option for the third position. Multiply the numbers together to get six arrangements. Watch out! In trees, there are two E's. This means that duplicate arrangements will arise if we swap the positions of the E's. Divide the total number of arrangements, 6, by the repetitions, 2 factorial, to get 3 unique arrangements. In Part F, how many unique arrangements have consonants and vowels alternating? In our sample set, we'll use permutation tiles to represent the five letters in trees. Represent the arrangement by setting up five positions. There are three consonants and two vowels. We must begin with a consonant, since CVCVC is the only possible alternating arrangement for the available letters.
there are three consonants available for the first position. There are two vowels available for the second position. There are two consonants available for the third position. There is one vowel available for the fourth position. And there is one consonant remaining for the final position. Multiply the numbers together to get 12 arrangements. Watch out! In trees, there are two E's. This means that duplicate arrangements will arise if we swap the positions of the E's. Divide the total number of arrangements, 12, by the repetitions, 2 factorial, to get 6 unique arrangements.